16th, April 2nd. Oh, I'm safe. I'm very quiet. My little girl's looking for me. So let me tell you the story. So this is quarantine day. I don't even know. And my little girl, she's really upset with me because apparently I drank the last of the milk. So here's what happened. We bought a bunch of milk at the beginning of the quarantine. And within the first two days, we drank half of it. Well, we, I should say my little girl drank half of it. I just drank 14 cups after that because I was thirsty. And then my little girl drinks one third of whatever we had left. And then I drank another 14 cups after that because I was thirsty. And now we have no milk. How much milk did we start with at the beginning of the quarantine? What up my quarantine people? Back at it again. Mr. H bringing the fire today. Um, so let's just dive right in because this is a doozy as my old madre would used to say. Um, so first of all, my statement, okay, should say, they had blank cups at the start, right? So cups of milk. I guess I should of milk because it's not like you know solo cups or anything. They had blank, <laughs> they had blank cups of milk at the start. All right, so that's my statement. I'm looking for anything about cups of milk, and there is a lot to process here. Okay, so we had a lot to identify. Let me get a different color. Um, so for two days, okay, um, the first two days they drank one half of the total. Okay, one half of what they started with, and this is what I'm looking for. Then after that, okay, there's a lot of sequencing words here. Maybe it could be a good uh, flow map if you know how to do thinking maps. They had 14, or, um, 14 cups for Mr. H. Okay, so Mr. H drank 14 cups. Then, another flow map word. Then um, his daughter drank one-third of what was left. Then after that, okay, Mr. H drank another 14 cups, which left them with zero left, okay? Um, so that's a lot to identify. I'm gonna go to a different page, but this should be something that you should identify, but I'm gonna need a lot more room for this, okay? So here we have what we started with. And I'm gonna draw it nice and big, okay? This is the total tape diagram that represents how much milk they had, okay? So this is their uh, total milk, and this is what I'm looking for, right? Which means now I need to just follow my steps. So I know the first two days, in the first two days, she drank one half of it, okay? Um, so this, I'm going to say that this is what uh, Keaton drank, okay? Or his daughter, sorry. I'm going to say this is what K drank, okay? Um, and so his daughter drank half, which left us with this half, right? Then after that, so then now we only have this half left. All right, there we go. There we go, okay? Mr. Hiroshige drank 14 cups, okay? So this is what he drank. HD, and again, this is what was left. So if you notice, I'm just following my steps and I'm just using my fraction models and tape diagram models to help me out. So then she drank one third of, of what was left. So now underneath here, I'm gonna put my, um, that's what was left and I'm gonna split this into thirds and they drank this, which means this part was left. And then after that, he took what they drank, okay? And he drank 14 of it, so which means this is 14 because at the end they had nothing left, okay? So this is what he drank at the end. And if you look at this, now all I need to do is follow my bar models and tape diagrams back up, looking at what it's telling me. So if he drank 14 and now they have nothing left, they have zero left, that means that these two parts have to be equal to 14, right? Because that's what they had left, and when you drank, you had zero. So if I split 14 into two groups, that's going to be seven. 
And if this part was equal to these other two, that means this also is going to be 7. Now I know how big this tape diagram that was left with is. It was 21, which means they had 21 cups left up here. I know that they had drank 14, which means the entirety of this tape diagram, when you add that together, is going to be 35 cups. And if this was 35 cups, that means this half would be 35 cups, which means the other half would be 35 cups, which means the total of this milk that they had is 35 plus 35, which is 70. So at the start, they had 70 cups of milk. That's a lot of steps, but this is what I'm trying to teach you guys. If you buy into doing, if you buy into developing your plan and using bar models all the time, even for easy questions, when you get a hard question like this, you'll be able to follow those same steps and be able to solve it. You have to walk before you, or sorry, you have to be able to crawl before you can walk and walk before you can crawl and, or I don't know, whatever that says, right? And walk before you can run. You got to be able to do the work on the easy questions so then you have a strategy to fall back on for these tougher multi-step questions all right i know after this question and after seeing his nasty hair i know he's going to wash his hands i know that he is going to not touch his face and if he's feeling sick he's going to stay inside that hair is making me sick so now i'm going to stay inside am i right all right and please like and subscribe to the video. We'd love for you to do that. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today at Instructed Beats. I hope your quarantine is going well. As always, stay safe, do math, I'm out.